Good morning. Thanks for taking some time out of your day or your evening to check out my channel. Making some progress on the footings. I did a video a couple days ago where I explained how this form of drain system works. If you want to check that video, I'll put a link to that right up here. But it's pretty much all the, the main house is all set. The frost wall still needs a little bit of work. My brother said that the people he ordered the former drain from, instead of sending all eight inch couplers, sent a bunch of 10 inch couplers along with it. So we need some eight inch couplers to come to finish that little section off right there. I believe he and his, uh, a couple of his workers are coming here today to help finish this off. The stakes are all driven in. So pretty much we're gonna get a transit set up, pull these up or down the grade, get them all set nice and level, and hopefully we can get a, uh, some trucks up here and get some stone delivered. This is all gonna get covered with stone today. And what else? Oh, we're gonna have four little footings for the post in the basement for the beam in the basement flooring system. This frost wall, it'll have to get bulkheaded off with some plywood and some braces coming across so the, the footing concrete will come and it'll turn straight down here. Still gotta get a, a couple pieces of rebar run through all this too. So we'll see how it goes today. We can get the trucks up here, get the stone, and hopefully get Joe here with the track hoe and scoop a lot of that gravel down in here and make life a lot easier on us. All the footers have been set to grade and spaced out started putting a little bit of stone around here basically there's a bunch of 2b stone that's going to go the whole way around the outside and then there'll be about six inches of 2b stone covering the whole middle and then there'll be a couple inches of 1b on top of everything which makes it really nice and easy to grade out Everything is ready for the footers to be poured. The garage is all trenched out and staked off with pins for grade level and a couple bulkheads built there. Go in here and check this out. Most of the stuff I learned off my brother, but the rebar needs to be close to the bottom in the bottom third of the concrete on your footers to give them the strength. The strength part, it wants to flex down so that the rebar needs to be at the bottom. And got about six inches of 2b stone and then about two or three inches of 1b now the big reason for the 1b is to grade that off for when we're pouring the basement floors it's really nice and easy you can actually take a scree board and screed that stuff right off get your grade really well so the whole thing is just a giant bed of gravel got four posts in here ready for the beams to go uh, gravel all around the outside that's just all 2b once the frost wall is built up here 
there'll be two inches of dial blue board to keep the frost from penetrating up underneath the basement floor from the outside got post holes dug for the ports that'll be out there that was done with the mini excavator that was pretty sweet got a bulkhead built here to turn the concrete down here one over here got the inside and the outside of the former drain is tied together with a pipe and then there's actually two sets of pipes going on out through here and just they go, they curve around that one post right there and go out that way they probably have all oh, they have several inches of gravel over top of the pipe and then plastic over top of the pipe before it was backfilled too so if you're having a house built in an area where you're prone to get uh, wet basements water in basements and frost issues you got to deal with and your everything looks like this you can sleep easy at night if it doesn't look like this i'd find a new builder once again, thanks for taking some time out of your day or your evening to check out my video. I unfortunately can't be here tomorrow to help pour the footers. I got to take my wife to a doctor's appointment, but I'll probably shoot another video once the footers are poured and maybe the blocks are being laid in here. Hope you all have a blessed day and stay safe, everybody.